The brain contains a huge number of interconnected neurons. Each neuron has dendrites, a cell body, an axon, and then further dendrites. The dendrites at each end are connected to synapses, and at the synapses neurotransmitters are received or released. An electrical signal passes along the membrane of the neuron. These neurons form a richly connected neuronal network. There is a summation of information from neighboring cells. The electrical signal must reach a certain threshold before it can be passed on to the next neuron. These principles are used in the artificial neuron. There's an input, there's a weighting, that's to say certain inputs are more significant than others. Then there is a summation process, and then the information is only passed on to the next artificial neuron if a certain threshold is reached. One form for the activation function is the step function, as shown here. Such artificial neurons can be connected together to form neural networks. There will be input neurons, weighted connections between the neurons, and then output neurons. A simple neural network like this works well provided the functions that it is dealing with are linearly separable. For example, the AND function is linearly separable as a straight line can be drawn between the possible outputs. On the other hand, the exclusive OR cannot have a straight line drawn between the possible outcomes. To deal with the situation where the outcomes are not linearly separable, a multi-layer neural network is required. The early neural networks were called perceptrons, hence the name. A neural network has to be taught to connect the correct inputs and outputs together. To do this, the correct weights have to be established, and to do that, a gradient descent function is needed, such as this, which plots the difference between input and required output against the weight values. In this example, there is just one minimum, a value for the weights for which there is a minimum difference between the required output and the input. Unfortunately, there is not always a single minimum, and therefore the process is not so straightforward. For more complicated situations, Backpropagation is often used. In this, the analysis starts with the output and works back to the given input. 